TGC Requiem here with some more blue-black mill. It's just coffee I'm pouring in the background. This is a terrible hand. Um, this is keepable. It's not the best. I think it's keepable. Uh, we're gonna put it on the bottom since we will get a draw step. I'd have left it on top if we were on the play. Elves. So this turns out to be a really good draw. Now this is assuming it's elves. This actually may be like Death Cloud or something. So I'm gonna get a watery grave here. Assuming they're going for some sort of more combo-y play. This quarter could be okay. Snap, glimpse. Excuse me, I had a sneeze there. Um. Kitchen Finks. Mark that as irrelevant. Um, so we're going to go straight into Glimpse. Excuse me. Cord Liliana scavenging is this is interesting. So this is some sort of ab. Uh, do I have seen any white? Actually, I don't see white yet. So so far it's green black. I mean this is white, but that doesn't mean there's any white in there. Scavenging is hmm. Some sort of green black value deck. So right now we're on the plan of, we could go snap in a glimpse next turn, but more likely we're going Crypt Incursion. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the plan will be next turn to go Crypt Incursion for a couple reasons. One, it shuts Lily's ability down. She isn't going to be able to return much if she gets to that point. There is some assumption that this individual is going to be playing Collected Company, um, Viscera Seer, ways to kill his own creatures, whatever it may be.
Should have stacked that visions first. I'm not quite sure why he's attacking with the birds. I'm sure we'll find out. So we have a couple options here. We can Snapcaster into Glyphs the Unthinkable. We could Visions, but vision seems really bad right now. Um, we could just Mind Sculpt. I think right now we go snap into glimpse. So we can go Mind Sculpt into Visions next turn. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, she's returned. Gets a 2-2. Two, two. So there's really no reason to block here. I think that's potentially why he's attacking with everybody. All we'll do is turn on his Liliana feature, which makes him start making gets him to start getting use out of the graveyard. Now overalls, sacrifice overalls is a sack outlet. So I think we're gonna go uh, Mind Sculpt into Hedron Cryab into Visions, hoping to hit a land. Um, we can also Ghost Quarter to get double activation for Hedron Crab if we wanted. Um, so we'll start this way. There's the Viscera Seer, Fauna Shaman's another sack outlet. Uh, actually, is it? Discard, not sack. Okay. I'm gonna go Hedron Crab here. And then we're just gonna hold up. So we can, we can do Visions at instant speed. What the plan will be is Ghost Quarter our Swamp to get an island to activate Hedron Crab and cash into Visions before our next turn. And that should ideally give us enough to finish him off. And then Mind Sculpt should finish the job. And that's game one.
All right, so sorry for the delay there. My daughter was asking for a snack after the match. She wants chocolate this morning. Um, ensnaring Bridge, I think, is probably best. I'm trying to think who can attack. One, two. Yeah. So we're going to bring Ensnaring Bridge in. Languish is very good here. Leyline of the Void, again, could be good with what they're trying to do. Um, I think we can try and go that route. The Empiric Link's not going to do any good. Echoing Truth could be okay. In fact, uh, Set a Drift. Murderous Cut is not as good here because they want us to kill their creatures. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to take out one Mind Funeral, one Mind Sculp, and cut down on one of the Echoing Truths. And one Snare Bridge, we don't want to dilute our deck too much in this matchup. I don't know if they're fast enough. So, Leyline of the Void could be good here, but the flip side of that is... Green is the best color for enchantment removal. So, I guess it's partially dependent upon whether or not he expects us to bring Leyline in. Another part would be if we hit Leyline. So the fact that we don't have any blue here, this would be a really good hand if this was blue. But as it is, I don't think we can keep this. This is plenty capable. Just trying to think through the sequence here. Probably have to go into Hedron, Crab, Shell Dock, Serum Visions. That's ah, a little slow. Let's see what's on top. Doesn't matter because we're going to fetch it away. So the flip side is we can go this into Hedron Crab next turn. I think that's what we're going to go because um, then we can hit two landfall triggers immediately. Alright, so for reference, the hideaway is going to trigger, sorry not trigger, but you may play the exiled card without paying its mana cost if a library has 20 or fewer cards in it. So we're gonna keep in mind this is going to be towards the end of the game. I think Crypt Incursion to gain the life over Glimpse because we may be in a tight tight one at that moment, and we did not hit the Ley Line of the Void. So we're going to go Hedron Crab. And we are going to have to go Water and Grave, unfortunately.
And we're really hoping for land, so we're shipping this to the bottom. And frankly, we're shipping that to the bottom. So, uh, no, sorry, we have land in hand. So, we can put this guy on top. We're only going to be able to play one of these two spells the next turn anyway. Snapcaster two turns from now. That works. His library is at 45 cards right now. So now he's going to try and start, he's probably going to sacrifice Elf, maybe not yet, to get his Lily flipped. Yep. Alright, so he's going to get a zombie, gets Lily, can return a creature now. Probably, probably Veralls, right? Uh, each player discards a card. I feel like at this point, Ley Line is the card to discard. Breaking. Luckily, we haven't seen too many big creatures yet. Return target on the creature with converted mana cost X or... Man, you could probably recur something pretty big. So land's gonna get him down to 30. Snapcaster. So I think with some ghost quarter usage, we could land, snap, ghost quarter or land that's already been tapped to go get another upright land. Mind sculpt, getting down to his library down to 20 cards. Uh, except we're not going to get that because this is going on. Sorry, right, so Leyline is our card to pitch. Alright, so that gets him to 30. Swamp down, get another trigger that puts him down to 27. Now we can hit that, puts him down to less than 20 cards, which means now we can play our Crypt Incursion and off Hideaway next turn.
So he is trying to set up a combo. If we look here, he's got Malira, Viscera Seer. He has the potential to set up a combo. If we go to game two, we may want to more strongly work towards the Ley Line of the Void. So Crypt Incursion is really good in this matchup for a couple reasons. Uh, I mean, if you look at all the Court of Callings, he has um, Eternal Witness. He's got the Murderous Red Cap combo. He's needing his graveyard. Um, Crypt Incursion doesn't help so much against that, does it? Oh, it is an instant. That's really good. Gonna use Eternal Witness. Let's go get Malira. That makes sense. He's trying to set up a next turn win. Okay, so now he's got collected their cord. Now we don't care about his life total. He can gain infinite life for all we care. So we can still mill him out before he kills us. <coughs> Eternal Witness. Okay, so yeah, so he's still trying to set up next turn, right? Probably gonna get Murderous Red Cap. Yep, so he grabbed Murderous Red Cap. So we're basically just going to wait for him to do his murderous road cap trigger, and that's when we're going to—that's where we're going to crypt incursion him. So murderous red cap, he can have a hit, it does damage to me. He'll sack it to Viserys Seer, it goes to the graveyard. It's then going to return with a minus one, minus one counter, except Malira stops that. Minus one, minus one counter, which means he can just loop it infinitely by sacking to Viserys Seer to kill me. However, while it's in the graveyard, we'll Crypt Incursion all the creatures away.
but he knows I have Crypt Incursion, and he's probably wondering if that's what that is. In the meantime, while we play this little dance... He beats me down for... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So he's got two turns. Oh, so maybe my funeral. So yeah, we're we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's not very many lands there either. Give him a chance to blow this at end step, but he won't. He's just going to be down. Well played by him. Alright, so... Engineer Explosives could be pretty good. Plays quite a few one-drops. Yep, I think we're good here. Murderous Redcap is the only real card that threatens us that we would want a Surgical Extract, I think. Snaring Bridge can buy us time. Uh, look at all those landfall triggers. Weird hand. We're going to keep it. That already got <laughs> down to 32. It's a hot start. Now we're cooking.
down to 18. He hasn't even played a spell yet. Got 12 more off the next fetch. And we can mine funeral. That should be it. If nothing changes to the existing board state. Sounds good. And that's the match. So man, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of a fun deck to play. I don't know. I, I always find it a challenge to play against Mill, but I can also find people see people finding it very tilting to play against it. Um, I also think I find it more of a challenge because I'm often playing Tarmogoyf, and it helps against Tarmogoyf. So, um, anywho. That's it for today. You guys have a good one.